Did you know Zoom Whiteboard can integrate with Microsoft Teams? I'm gonna show you next. I think everyone knows today about Zoom meetings. A lot of us know about Zoom Phone, Zoom Contact Center, Zoom IQ for sales, Zoom Rooms, Zoom Spaces, Zoom Digital Signage. But more importantly, the discussion today is about Zoom Whiteboard and Zoom Team Chat and how it integrates with Microsoft Teams. One of the greatest things that Zoom does is provide choice to the end user of what experience they want to live in. If you are a Microsoft shop and you utilize Microsoft Teams and you want to stay as a user inside of Microsoft Teams and collaborate with Zoom users, you can do that. If you love Zoom, and Zoom Team Chat and Zoom Meetings and Zoom Phone and you want to stay in the Zoom client and want to collaborate with Microsoft Teams users, you can do that. I've done a ton of videos of this integration, but today I want to step it into the whiteboard arena and show you how that integration works from Zoom into Microsoft Teams sharing whiteboards across platforms. So on the screen right now, I have two users. One on the left is MOD Administrator logged into Microsoft Teams. You can see that right here. And on the right, I'm logged in with Patrick on my test account. How does Patrick in the Zoom client send a whiteboard across platforms into the Microsoft Teams client? A couple of things to look at right here. On the left side of my Microsoft Teams client, I've pre-installed the Zoom application. You can get that application from the Teams app marketplace right here. So I'm gonna to go to my Zoom application and you're gonna see a couple of things. We've all seen me do Zoom demos of starting a Zoom meeting inside of Microsoft Teams, scheduling a meeting inside of Microsoft Teams, making a phone call inside of Microsoft Teams using the Zoom client for all of these modalities. But today I want to show you the chat feature inside of Microsoft Teams that allows you to share whiteboards across platforms. So on the right side, you can see that I'm in my Zoom client. I've opened up the whiteboard application. You can see that right here. And I want to create a brand new whiteboard and share it to my Microsoft Teams user. So let's just go to uh, we're going to go to new templates right here. We're going to go to maybe open up a eight seed bracket. It is March Madness. Sweet 16 starts tonight. So let's just say I want to create a Zoom whiteboard with all the teams and I want to share that. So let's just use that template. We've pre-populated it with a bunch of just demo teams. So now we want to share this whiteboard across platforms. Not only is it across platforms, it's across companies. If you didn't see it earlier, MOD Administrator is part of my PK Fabrication tenant. This is part of my Zoom and Air tenant two completely separate organizations. And we can still share from Zoom to external users in Microsoft Teams. Watch this. So to share a whiteboard, you obviously go to the big share button on the top right hand corner. And now there's a couple of things that we can actually set for permissions wise. Look at what I've already set as a default is anyone can share at or below their level. So editor, owner, viewer, external users can be invited. That's what we're gonna do right now. They can invite other people to collaborate on this whiteboard. And now anyone with this link can view the board, but we can also drop that down that link and, and change those permissions as well as anyone in the Zoom and Air account can view it, our only invited members can view this board. We're going to let it be wide open. You can control the access however you'd like. So let's invite admin at PK Fabrications. It will now warn me, hey, by the way, admin at PK Fabrication is an external user. So make sure you applied your permissions properly. Now we can hit share whiteboard. And now that 8C bracket has been shared from, from Zoom to the Teams client. And look what happened real time. That Teams client now has that whiteboard. And now we can both open up that whiteboard and collaborate on that whiteboard at the same time. So you can see from the Microsoft Teams user, uh, admin at PK Fabrications, they've been alerted within the Zoom application itself. Right here, you can see the Zoom app from the app marketplace, that there's a new, there's new activity, as well as in the chat platform, we can see that there's a new activity there. Zoom has sent a card. You can only imagine what that card's gonna be. It's gonna be that brand new whiteboard that we had just sent. So now let's open it up from a user perspective and see what happens when we co-author on that document. So both users have opened up the Zoom whiteboard from their respective clients itself. One, we opened up for Microsoft Teams on the left. We are still in the Zoom client on the right. And now we can co-author on this document. Watch this. I'm MOD admin on the left, making changes to the whiteboard from Microsoft Teams Look what's happening on the right. You can see where the MOD administrator is at in the whiteboard making changes. So let's just make a change real quick. I know one of the uh, teams here is uh, Florida Atlantic University. Look what's happening on the right. Those changes are taking place real time from Microsoft Teams client. Let's go over here. I can't remember what team is playing. Let's just say it's Houston. Again, you can see that the changes on the right side from my Zoom and Air account are being reflected in the Microsoft Teams client. And I can see from the admin that Patrick Kelly in the Zoom and Air is making changes real time to my whiteboard. So how's that for powerful? I've shown you so many integrations between Microsoft Teams and Zoom. This is just one more iteration 
and what we're talking about when we're talking about full collaboration between ecosystems and applications and platforms. Zoom can integrate multiple ways with Microsoft Teams from a chat perspective, from a file perspective, now from a whiteboard perspective. I hope you've enjoyed yet another demo of how Zoom and Microsoft Teams can coexist in the same enterprise, the same company, not only between internal users, but also external users and external organizations. If you like this video, make sure and follow me on LinkedIn or better yet, subscribe to my YouTube channel. I do work for Zoom as a distinguished architect. I am not a figurehead or a spokesman for Zoom. I just like to talk about cool technology and a lot of times that has to deal with Zoom. Have a great day.